Hey there. So, um, I've been playing a lot, and I mean an absolute shit ton of Puppeteer. As you can see, I've got him currently at level 42. And um, I win a lot of my games, and I think it's because of like the setup that I do. So at the beginning of the game, I, I pretty much ignore everyone. I ignore everything up until um, two map fragments at most. So I... I go around, I set up, so I go to the locations like the dagger, and I go to the locations like the um, the book, or the book paper, or whatever it is, because obviously the book's at the end of the game, but I mean like the first stage and the second stage, I usually ignore the map fragments until like, they show themselves around the second map, so if they show themselves on the second map fragment, that's when I'll head over there. But I'll um, pretty much show you what I usually do. So I'll make my way over. I'll let her talk. <laughs> now is our time to walk the earth once again. So I make a beeline straight to the dagger or the um, or to that location over there. A group of fools wander in our midst, seeking pieces of the map that will spell our demise. They must not locate these pieces. And what I usually do is I'll level up traps. I'll level up trap to tier for, like to tier three as soon as possible, so I can start spawning the elites. With the elite units, basically, you can just um, take them over, do a quick drop, so you can just drop down some cheekiness um, with your one ability. So you do an AOE sort of stun, but the damage is really good. But the thing is, every time you do that ability, you generate a ridiculous amount of um, threat. So you can level up, and then what I tend to do is I'll pump into. So I'll pretty much I'll pretty much just show it to you here. But yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up here. Just put down traps. This is an okay location here. No, it's not too bad. It's not the best. But we're gonna just set traps everywhere. I mean, absolutely everywhere, because we don't know what direction they're gonna be coming from. And don't forget, there's usually one in this building as well. There it is. And you just want to pretty much just every, every, everything you do here is just pretty much setting up traps, making sure that um, you get the most out of your uh, the early game levels here. So we've already found someone's already terrified that we've found the one map fragment, but Are that means nothing to us. Or We're merely much incompetent. Pretty much just doing this, and we don't know where they're going to come from, so they might be coming from they, they might come from over here. So we just want to make it as difficult for them as possible here. We're just going to place as many traps down as possible. Now, as soon as we get to, um, I don't really tend to put any levels on them yet. That. So let me just see if there are any more traps we can place down. Yeah. So we're just going to do this all the way until we get to tier 3. And we just really like it is just making this place a hell hole for them. As many traps down as possible. That's a legendary box. We want to make sure that we um, do that. So we're just going to grab it as much as possible here, and then we we'll just go one, two, three, straight into traps. Now this is usually how I find doing it is the like the more efficient way for me. Um, so we're going to go quickly go into that treasure chest here. Is this? Oh, it's not legendary. Then I'm going to hopefully attract some people. And then, okay. Sometimes, like I've noticed that the traps can be quite annoying to work with. But as long as we're pretty much, I'm pretty much happy with all of the traps we've placed around here. Hopefully, they come from that direction. If not, it's, uh, it's a bit of an oof. But now we're going to head over to the um, this section over here. So now what I do is I level up Infernal Energy, just so it gives us like 10 um, 
pile of energy at her. So we're just going to head the bucket straight over here and collect as much of the like, as much of this stuff as possible. So they've they've done a really good job. They've managed to find the um, map fragments super quick. But because we've set up here, um, we should be okay. This is when we're going to be doing the majority of the fighting anyway in these sort of locations. So we just want to pretty much like fortify it. So they're coming in a car like over in that direction somewhere, but we uh, we ignore this. So some of these locations can be really well, like really well placed, and some of them can be quite bad. And I'm guessing this one might be a oh actually no 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 this one's not too bad. And we do want to trap in these buildings as well because this is where they're going to be finding a lot of their loot and stuff like that. So we just want to place up as much as possible here. We get that. Bam, perfect. Just gonna pretty much just keep placing traps in the surrounding area. I'm trying to see if there's any uh, decent traps around, but it doesn't really look like it. There we go. Put the last one down, and now we're going to pretty much just go look for them. So we knew that they were roughly in this sort of area, so we're just going to head over here. They'll show themselves regardless, but during during this sort of phase, we just keep grabbing infernal energy. Just so basically, like when we do see them, we can just start putting traps down, start messing with them a little bit. The mortal fools there we now go, they found the, the, uh, the map. The lost pages and so this is, this is combat time now. Try harder. So I think they're near, I think they're near this location. So we're going to try and head over, uh, head over here. I'm not exactly sure where they are. So we're just going to wait for a little bit here. Put some traps down while we wait to see if they show themselves. But yeah, these guys have managed to find all of the map pieces really quickly. Quite, uh, quite concerned here that they're already making it over to my dagger. No, they're still over here. That's perfect. So this is when we just start messing with them here. The longer we can keep them in these areas, the better. So they're a dead end, right? probably been looting up in this location. Yeah, perfect. So we're just going to start putting traps down. I'm not sure if there's anything we can do. Oh, okay. No, no, I don't see him, there is. We want to jump scare him quickly. Bam, just better than this thing. But this is great, he's actually heading over here on his own. start leveling up possession. So this guy's come over here on his own, which is really good for us because this place is like super trapped up. This is when we just start beating him. Yeah, we're just going to keep beating on him for a while here. 
ammo. Then while that's going on, we can quickly grab some energy. The humans have located the Kandarian dagger. That's perfect Stop for us. Them before they take it. You'll swing it. Push that. Let's see when we start looking at So this guy's going to have to deal with all of the traps and everything else that we've already placed down. So we're going to unpossess him here, and we're going to have to deal with all of those traps that we've placed. And now we just level up basic. That's usually how that's usually how I usually play the game. Um, I'll set up like a nice area and then I'll utilize it the best I can I can. So yeah, that's pretty much it there. We even got some spicy DCs because they just got absolutely smashed. Our victory was never in doubt. But yeah, as you can see here, um, we got two DCs and then the other two. Um, that's that's usually how I um, I play Demon. So if you liked the video, please let me know. Uh, Puppeteer just uh, he's, he's he's absolutely my favourite. Uh, being able to stun stuff and using the elites to stun stuff and like the just just the all route damage. And you can use the like the the boss. What I tend to do anyway is um, I like to duck in and duck out. So I'll spawn in, activate my 1, activate my 3, and then I'll fight as much as I can. And then I'll, if I notice that my health's quite low, I'll start bobbing and weaving because he like disappears when you move around. You can use your, that's when you start using your 3 ability, but you use it at range. Um, it's a medium ranged ability, so um, sort of like the range can be a little bit off. Don't use it too close because he won't hit. You have to sort of use it at like a little slight distance, and then yeah, that's pretty that's pretty much how I play Demon. So let me just say it again: um, make sure you ignore. Like this is what I do anyway. I always ignore the um, first two map fragments, and I just set up defenses near my um, near my objectives where I need to protect. Um, 
but yeah I hope you guys learned something from this video and make sure you check out my Twitch channel I stream on Twitch uh, most pretty much daily usually in the mornings or in the evenings um, but yeah links will be down in the description uh, feel free to leave a comment subscribe if you want to and I'll catch you all later adios